Hello there in TV land. <laughs> We're going to do some, uh, some ball joint measuring. We're going to measure some axial play and then we're gonna measure some radial play. So the job of the lower ball joint is to control axial play up and down. And the job of the upper ball joint is to control radial play, which is your in, out, forth, and aft play. So right now we're gonna concentrate on the lower ball joint and we're just gonna see, show you um, with the gauge how much play you're actually seeing. And uh, we've kind of disassembled the internals on this thing just so we can give you a range of motion. With, our, with it fully assembled, it's really hard to get enough play out of it to show you guys. Um, so we're going to show you with the diff on the stand, remembering that most units that are going to come into a shop are going to have a wheel and tire package on it, etc, etc. This is going to be extremely hard to do in the truck. It is doable, but for the most part, um, you're going to be eyeballing it. I mean, I've been a mechanic for 26 years and this is very rare on the truck. Now, the one thing to take into account is if you move this knuckle, it's going to throw your reading off down below. If you want to zoom in on the gauge, I'm going to rotate this knuckle and you can see you know, probably 90 thou play just in rotating that without actually taking into account the, the actual play in the ball joint. So I'm gonna try and keep as still as possible. And if you wanna zoom in on the gauge again. It's tough to tell because it rotates, but. Probably like eight thou play, 10 thou play, something like that. Looks like six. Six thou, yeah. <laughs> sure. I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to back the ring off and give it more play just so you can see what, for an example, 20 thou play, 40 thou play looks like. If okay. Let's see how much we get there. So almost, almost 30. 30 though. Yeah. That's a lot of movement. <laughs> now we can take it even further than that. Take a big swing at it. Again, a lot of movement. So the people that are saying that they have a hundred thou play, it's a lot of play. The chances of having 20 thou, 15 thou play, pretty good. But to eyeball it, you know, that's a lot of play. You know, people would look at that, eyeball it, and say it's 120 thou play, which is not. <laughs> now try to get Dodge's magic 90 thou number. If you can believe that. Ring's gonna be pretty much backed out. <laughs> oh, yeah. So that seventy five. Seventy five thou. Now to think that Dodge's spec is 90,000 
Here, show me the play in the upper again. Okay. No wonder they never warranty ball joints. You'll never get that much play. Go to 90. We'll attempt it. Try to re-zero it as best as we can. So that is probably close. Still 85. 85 though. So you're pretty close. So if we go, hang on a sec. Here's the knuckle. See how much of the ring? Here, look, move your head for a sec. Hold on. Your head's in the way. Get your head out of the way. It's okay. always in the way. They call me fat head. So if you look right there, can you point the poker to the ring? I don't know if you can see. No, come from, yeah, okay, yeah. so see where that needle is right there? Poke it through a bit further, just the tip. Okay, so just above that is forward a bit more. Can't see anything. What the hell? Is yeah, okay, there we go. So he's poking the edge of the ring. So you can see how much of the ring is backed out there. So that's like almost all the way out of the body. Pretty close. So in order to get 90 out of play, you really got to back it up. And there's still a spiral lock in there that would hold the insert in. So the insert would be pounded out and the ball joint would almost be falling out. So to get 90 thou play, like to have a Dodge dealership uh, say that there's too much vertical play and they're going to call our ball joint when it goes into their dealership, it's impossible. It's just a physical impossibility to meet their spec with our ball joint. Um, so when they call it right away, you got to question it and ask them to show you the play. Yeah, actually, here, let me zoom in on that upper so you can see it. Okay. Like, that's a ton of play. You better be seeing that in the... And I'll have guys on my tech line that will tell me that's 200 thou, and they will argue and argue and argue with me. And it's, it's not that I'm arguing there isn't play, it's just that we need to figure out what action we're going to take or what the issue is, if the insert's pounded out or if it just needs to be adjusted. But if you over embellish the amount of play, then I can't help you. There's nothing I can do. So I'm going to tighten this back up and show you kind of where the range of play that we generally see in a real world application, because this clearly is a little crazy. Or as we like to call clazy. Might take me a little bit because it's really wound up. So this is typically the kind of play we'll see. Um, usually you'll hear an audible clunk or click when you're checking the ball joint. So imagine you have a tire here and a bar underneath and you're moving it. I don't know if you can hear that. Obviously these joints are dry so it's magnifying it, but that's 10 thou. And see. Which, which isn't a lot. Okay, let's focus in, go. So that's an audible clunk at 10 thou. And that's easily uh, taken up by grease. I mean, obviously these are dry for this demonstration, but this is typically what you'll see on a normal application. Kind of extreme cases. You'll maybe see 20, twenty-five thou. Now most people at twenty twenty-five thou are gonna say that's sixty thou play by eyeballing it. But it's not really. And like I say, there's gonna be a lot of room for error in this. But even if I was to twist it, see what I mean? Hang on, I'll zoom in on that. Twist it. So this is our play, but if I twist it, your range of motion is gonna increase this number. So that's kind of like the extreme amount of play we're going to see. And then you can go in, loosen the lower ball joint, which we'll do. Tighten up the ring. It's 
throw everything back together and Bob's your uncle.